So um, this is the first day we actually trying this new camera. Um, never done anything with it before. I'm gonna do some minor toy hunting and uh, we're gonna check if the food is any good to actually use to put on YouTube. Um, so I hope it's gonna work out and hopefully you guys gonna like it. So this is a very crude first introduction for me to the video and uh, the camera I'm making videos. So uh, let's go, have fun. Uh, here we are at the first shop in uh, the Taiku shopping mall and uh, they have tons and tons and tons of Bandai model kits from all kinds of uh, um, yeah Gundam style uh, basically I'm not really familiar with all these different kits I'm really sorry I'm really focusing mainly on the Bandai Star Wars kits but if you see something that's really cool or unique let me know um, I also have to work a bit on the filming technique with this uh, new camera it's a bit different than uh, with my DSLRs or uh, iPhones that I've used in the past. I'm not really used to using a gimbal yet, a gimbal camera yet, and it has a small uh, surface. So I mean, they're, they're the, uh, it's not as wide the view, so I need to get used to that and move a bit slower going forward. So I'm really sorry for that, but still good impression of what they have for sale in that first shop. As you can see, tons and tons of Gundam uh, model kits here. Some are uh, assembled already. Ready. so that's pretty cool um, moving to the transformer sections always a weak point for me uh, looking for some new goodies but I didn't see any cool uh, seeds of Cybertron uh, transformers that I still want to have I got most of the real cool ones already um, so yeah skimping on that realizing that I'm walking now in the small kids department so <laughs> not much interesting to see here moving on to uh, some other sections um, uh, there's more Gundam uh, than I can count so there's um, here another whole section of Gundam model kits it's it's pretty intense uh, and everything is knocked uh, is full to the knock uh, please bear in mind the price that you have seen are in Hong Kong dollars and not US dollars so uh, just uh, some reference. This is my haul of that shop in 1880. Uh, so pretty cool. Fast forward, we are in Wan Chai, uh, which is another location in Hong Kong. And boom, with uh, the first store where I picked up several kits, uh, really good prices. Uh, recently, they upped the prices a bit. Oh, that Millennium Falcon there in the top right corner. Still need to pick up. I just noticed. And uh, I picked up this uh, Snow Peter there for around uh, 12 US dollar. And uh, this Darth Vader kit as well. Uh, Return of the Jedi full uh, mask review or full face review. I didn't have that one yet. And then we go to the next shop, which is uh, basically there's several shops next to each other. So this is a pure model kit shop. Unfortunately, this uh, day it was super busy, a lot of students. Uh, so it was really annoying. I picked the wrong time, probably it was around uh, one o'clock in the afternoon. So they were in the lunch break. And uh, yeah, I tried to make some footage, but these annoying kits were everywhere there was actually a dude in the bottom left corner as well sitting and I didn't see him till I was crotch height in his face so got that going uh, that C3 CP3, CP3O and R2D2 set I still need to get as well so that's really cool stuff and this is my haul from that shop Hopefully the camera or the microphone picks up my audio. I just bought a whole bunch of new Star Wars model kits. Um, a lot of them. Oh, doesn't like my face. Um, so I hope this vlog style works. I have no idea. It's the first time I'm trying it. But I just want to say that um, my wife is probably going to be very angry with me. That I just bought a lot of these Star Wars model kits. So I'm walking back home. Hope for the best. See how she will react. Uh, take care. And we're back home, so um, hope you guys like that. First time I'm using this camera. Uh, first time, um, yeah, I have to get used to, to the whole vlogging in the public. And it's really weird, to be honest. 
uh, but I got a good haul of stuff so I'm gonna show you guys now and um, that uh, makes me get a bit closer to completing the entire line of the Bandai Star Wars model kit so first thing we got is the at at uh, model kit so that's cool so we got that one now um, yeah I, I needed this one for a well and I've uh, been holding off for for the longest time um, some of these kits that I have now are at retail price so there's no difference if you buy them from the big boy, uh, big boy toy store of, or buying them in the in the in the toy store here locally um, the prices are the prices I just want to complete the whole set basically so uh, let's go along take the camera with me I like this uh, this camera a lot now it's gonna allow me to move around a lot without too much issues um, then we have this box here as well um, so we got a snow speeder um, still needed this one as well uh, 172 skill, uh, 148 skill and uh, the Darth Vader uh, re oh, Darth Vader Return of the Jedi figure with the uh, removable mask um, this one was a bit expensive uh, all things considering um, I think I paid around 200 Hong Kong dollar for it which is uh, roughly 25 US dollar and then I also saw this one discounted which is a super tiny Millennium Falcon that one was just um, uh, seven US dollar, which is retail price basically. Uh, but um, yeah, I, I needed this one too because I'm trying to collect the whole set, not just the um, the, uh, the figures. Now I just want to have the whole set complete. So anyway, and then we have a couple more. Ah, let's see what we else we got. We got the AT80. ATST uh, 148 skill um, so it's the bit bigger one um, this one was in the back of this of one of the stores uh, again it, the price was okay not super discounted so that's a bit unfortunate and then I picked up this one as well um, I already got the Boba Fett uh, slave one and this is uh, Django's Fett uh, slave one 144 uh, skill so that's cool. Um, so I have both Boba Fett and Django Fett slave one now, which is cool. We do comparison videos later on to see the two kits. And then I also got the first order regular Tie Fighter uh, because um, uh, the the last one that I picked up was the uh, Elite Tie Fighter with the red accent on the, on the canopy. This one is just um, it's all black. So. That is pretty cool. Um, I think that's a pretty good uh, set of different figures. So, um, yeah, hopefully you guys like these kind of uh, um, vlogs. Um, I intend to do a lot more of them. Not always, of, tour, of course, buying toys, but just toy hunting, showing different toys, uh, showing the atmosphere of Hong Kong or Holland when I move back. And um, basically, oh, go through, uh, yeah, go through all of that. Um, and then also it, I, it helps me to get more familiar with making these kind of videos uh, get a bit more comfortable doing it in public and whatnot and um, yeah I, uh, I think that's gonna be a lot of fun um, so what I do now next is um, update my list of all the Bandai Star Wars figures that I uh, model kits that I still need and uh, the list gets smaller and smaller that's a good thing um, but there's still a whole bunch of kits that I need and uh, they, they had them in the stores, but I didn't want to spend more money than I already did. Um, just didn't feel comfortable to, uh, to get even more kits because I know my wife will go crazy. So, I'm gonna do uh, what I'm gonna do now. Oh, here's my face. Come, truck my face. Truck my face. Truck. He doesn't want. Ah, here we go. So, what I'm gonna do next is update my list. And um, the vlog is not really done yet because we still need to do a few bunch of pieces here and there. Um, so uh, yeah, hopefully you guys like that. Uh, leave in the comments what you want to see next time. Um, if it's just uh, toy hunting or just uh, just checking out the toy stores, I do have to say uh, the first toy store I went in uh, already was asked politely to not film inside, so um, that can be a bit of a, an issue. So I will have to sneak in the camera times. Um, I also brought this uh, backpack mount for the for the new camera, but uh, it didn't really work out that well because I can't really see what's going on on the. Uh, 
on the camera and because it has a gimbal it starts to track sometimes and then drift off with the camera to an, uh, an angle on the ground or whatever so for that I probably have to get the Osmo action cam and then use that for the wide angle shots that is always like everything is in shot uh, so I don't have to mess around with it um, but uh, nonetheless uh, very cool I'm super stoked and uh, yeah thanks for watching see you later bye, -bye.